Well, in this video I'd like to talk about the catatonic police. Now, the police in the catatonic society are not terrifying people. They do not deal with serious crimes. That is the sacred army that deals with the serious crimes. And they are terrifying people. But uh, these police are not at all. The police are very gentle people. Now, the police serve a purpose. You see, the catatonic society lives on the brink of collapse. Always. Now, you may think that's funny, but you live in a society that has already collapsed since its beginning and lives in a state of total collapse. Well, the catatonic society is instead the uh, utopia. That's what it's been called by people I've described it to. They said that's utopia. Well, to have a utopia, you have to know that you're living on the brink of collapse. So you have to have uh, a lot of police men and police women. So out of every 10 children that go to school, one studies to be or a policeman or a police woman. There, are one, there is one police officer for every 10 people. And they are combined so that they are husbands and wives working together in a team. The police is divided into two, into two factions. The faction that is underground in the block, because every city sits on a block, a uh, special kind of uh, plinth that is very robust. And uh, inside this plinth there is a police uh, headquarters. Inside this block there, are the, there is the police headquarters. And uh, they uh, secretly spy on everything in the, everyone's houses. All rooms have telecameras. Every single room in the house has a uh, telecamera. And they are instinctive. They don't have to uh, uh, sort of uh, check a thousand houses at a time. They just have to check the house number 2368 and they instantly find something that's slightly wrong, you see. Something that shouldn't be happening. A sort of behaviour that is, uh, is slightly distorted. Now, of course, if this behaviour is uh, gross, then they are called the Sacred Army because the Sacred Army deal with uh, serious crimes but if the behaviours are slightly distorted they will intervene themselves and the police patrol the streets everywhere you can always, there is a, a law that you should always be able to see a couple of uh, police officers wherever you are even during the night, you can see them walking along the street. There is no, there is no place where you cannot see the police officers. You see, because uh, even though the people are good, you need deterrence. Deterrence is very important. And people have to be deterred from misbehaving. So uh, the police are watching them all the time. And the police, uh, they give people small fines for uh, having uh, untidy clothing or unwashed hair or uh, uh, things like that. And they inspect their houses. Their houses have to be immaculately clean. And they have to be immaculately ordered. They regularly inspect their houses. And uh, they are nice people. Nobody feels afraid of the police at all. But they are omnipresent. And as I said, they are one in ten people. 
and uh, they dress in blue and uh, whereas the sacred army dress in dark red you see that's the colour of God's sacred army which is, has all sorts of levels from the planetary level to the uh, level of the entire universe as you call it anyway the uh, the police uh, make sure that you no know, kind of slightly perverted behaviour happens at all. They will uh, intervene and they will have people uh, taken to hospital if they are displaying slightly behave perverted behaviour. And uh, this is very important. And the hospital, the hospital means uh, just uh, six hours at maximum. It's not like on this planet where people are put into a psychiatric hospital for six weeks and uh, the doctor sees them maybe two weeks and uh, for one minute and uh, declares them to be paranoid schizophrenics, whatever they, whatever they have. No, they are serious doctors, so that they will seriously, seriously analyse that person, find out if has if he has anything wrong with him in just a few hours. You see, and uh, him or her, that is, they will find out if there's anything wrong with him, him or her in just a few hours, and. Uh, Actually, because of the terror of living, which is high, because everybody knows about the dangers of going to hell, uh, many people want to stay in psychiatric hospital longer than they are allowed to stay. So they actually get brutally kicked out of the door, you know, after 24 hours, you know because uh, they're not allowed to stay there unless they are seriously ill, you see. So uh, there is no, uh, because uh, the doctors are overworked. In fact, the doctors are so overworked that the whole collectivity of each city, every year, they make a, they make a, they put together their money and they may give a gift to the doctors, which doubles their salaries. Because uh, the doctors have to be paid a salary that is uh, normal. It's a normal salary. It's, uh, but uh, they deserve much more than that. So they are actually uh, rewarded by the people of the city themselves because uh, they do such heavy work, you see. So uh, they actually get double the money that the state gives them because of the gifts from the people in the city. And uh, the Catholic police are everywhere to inspect everything and they make sure, of course, above all, hygiene is so important uh, that uh, and order is so important, it's important that uh, your houses are in order, that the city is in order, that everything is totally clean. I mean, it's forbidden to throw a cigarette butt onto the ground. It has to be put in, in it uh, has to be put in an ashtray. And it's actually forbidden to smoke walking along. You have to smoke while you're sitting in a, on a park bench, where there is an ashtray, it's a law. You can't smoke walking along. No, you can. You have to smoke sitting down. Uh, people smoke everywhere, even in the operating theatre of the hospital. The uh, people operating on you will smoke, but of course, uh, it's not in the same conditions as here on the earth. They do not have to be above you, opening you up. 
they have a machine with a long mechanical arm which opens you up and uh, inserts spare organs into you. Right, when I talk about spare organs, they are not uh, obviously transplanted organs because that is absolutely forbidden. You can never put the organs of anyone else into your body. Everyone has to have specially cloned organs made from the uh, simulation of their own body tissue in uh, an organ bank. Everyone is obliged to have spare organs and they cost money. They cost a fair deal of money. They can get a loan when they want to get these spare organs, but they have to have them. And, uh, and this, uh, this means that everyone has a complete set of spare organs, right from the skeleton, Everything, every single part of the body can replace. You see the skeleton, the lungs, the heart, the, uh, talking about the actual physical heart, the pump, not the metaphysical heart, but the physical heart and the uh, liver and the kidneys and the uh, skin. People can have their entire skin replaced if they have skin disease and uh, they have to stay in hospital for a bit because they look like flabby ba big babies, you see, because this skin doesn't actually fit for a bit. They have to exercise to make it fit because it, and it has to also immunize itself. and. Uh, People with new livers, they have to gradually get their livers used to uh, a bit of alcohol and uh, in very light quantities while they're in the hospital and uh, a bit of uh, smoking very light cigarettes, you see. Same goes for the lungs. The lungs have to get used to smoking very light cigarettes in the beginning in the hospital. Uh, before they actually go out so they can spend quite some time in hospital when they've had their organs changed. This normally happens after the church war on Mondays when they are challenging the forces of evil which can cause the most hideous, uh, grotesque uh, diseases and they may need new livers, new lungs, new skin, new skeletons, everything. And, uh, of course, I forgot to mention brains, of course, they need new brains as well. And uh, that when you have a new brain, at the beginning you can't actually, in the first few hours, you can't remember properly everything, but it, after a few days it all arises from your soul and you install it again. It needs a special mental doctor and a psychologist together, to uh, working together to get that information up into your head and stalled. So you have your complete memory more or less back as it, as it was, you see. So uh, they can have all their organs transplanted. And uh, new teeth, of course, are always not false teeth. They are always uh, genuine teeth made from your own body tissue. And uh, you have to have uh, a set of false teeth, or oh, not false teeth, sorry, what am I saying? A set of spare teeth uh, made from your own body tissue. Because as a transplant is a uh, is a horror. It is a moral horror. I mean, you're taking from someone who died. I mean, and then the idea of having someone else's organs inside you is so obscene, it's unimaginable. So these things do not happen. It's a extraordinarily perverted transplant. So, uh, uh, 
the Castletoni police uh, observe all kinds of behaviour. They make sure that the city is absolutely sparkling clean everywhere. They make sure that uh, uh, the houses all are sparkling clean. They make sure that people's behaviour is absolutely immaculate. And uh, and they inspect workplaces as well. They make sure that the uh, relationship between the uh, directors and the workers are correct, that there is no uh, uh, kind of uh, no kind of illegal sort of uh, subjugation of the uh, workers. I mean that the workers aren't oppressed by the uh, directors. They survey everything and uh, they make sure that the Catatonic society is a beautiful place to live in. You really do need one policeman for, or one policewoman for every uh, ten people. And the policewomen, men and policewomen work in pairs, husbands and wives. This is very important because the husband and wife couple will work so much more efficiently than uh, two people who don't really know each other. Well, that's this video for today.